Suspects linked to the kidnapping and murder of an Etiquini lecturer have now appeared in the Durban Magistrates Court. Video footage of the kidnapping went viral online where the Mangasutu University of Technology lecturer Shandwarika was seen being forced into his own vehicle allegedly by the suspects. His decomposing body was found a week later. It had been dumped in bushes in Inanda. Karinda Jagmahan joins us now for an update. Karinda, good afternoon. What happened in court? Good afternoon, Stephen. Well, five suspects now appearing at the Durban Magistrates Court. But let me take you back to the 28th of May when this kidnapping occurred. Dwaraka was seen in that video footage uh, working outside his property when suspects were seen approaching him and forcing him into his vehicle. Now, according to the state's um, filing affidavit, they claim that these suspects drove around the area with Dwaraka and forced him to withdraw cash from an ATM. They also robbed him of his cell phone before allegedly choking him, slitting his throat, thereby killing him and then dumping his body in a bush in Inanda. Of course, t uh, t um, of course, very scary, terrifying moments, last moments for Dwarika there, according to the state. Now, the five suspects, the youngest is a 23-year-old male, the eldest a 45-year-old male. They're charged with various accusations. Four of the suspects are charged with premeditated murder, kidnapping and robbery. They've abandoned their bail application and they'll be held in custody until the 20th of June. While a fifth suspect, that's the eldest, the 45-year-old, he will continue with his bail application. He's facing a charge of defeating or obstructing justice because he allegedly hid his co-accused uh, following Dwarika's kidnapping and murder when police were hunting down these suspects. In court, it was quite a while before the suspects could appear in court. In fact, only about two o'clock today did the matter actually begin uh, and quite short-lived actually too. But Dwarika's family members were not in court. It's of course quite a painful moment for them, although there was a representative of the Mangusuti University of Technology as well. This university says they will continue supporting police in its investigation. But at this point, there's no clear motive as to why this could have happened to Dwarika. At the face of it, it seems like he was unfortunately at the wrong place at the wrong time, having been kidnapped allegedly by the suspects and later murdered. The suspects, as well as they appeared in court, uh, quite shaken up to see the number of cameras and journalists that were there as well, perhaps realizing then um, the enormity of what is happening before them. But they'll appear in court again on 20th of June as this case continues. And of course, bringing to the forefront matters of violence uh, and, and concerning matters of crime that's escalating in Durban. Karinda Jagmahan, thank you very much indeed for that live update of a story that uh, has shaken very much the higher education in the industry across the country.